Hello boys and girls, welcome to peek over my shoulder in Wasteland 2 once again. I was missing this world and I'm trying to have a very short session tonight because sleep and such. Okay, okay. And um, if I remember correctly, ah, yeah, this is the guy that was following us. Uh, this is the area that we are not going at the moment because there are some bandits there. And if I remember correctly, on this side we actually have some mines that we need to disarm. So let's ungroup. You start uh, perceiving and you do your thing. Did we get them all really? I don't think so because I, I know I skipped some because I, I got uh, tired of all the disarming. What's this? Huh. I think we got them after all. Okay. coming. I mean, no rush or anything. I don't know what he's supposed to do. Right now he's just following us around. I think he's supposed to become a trader, maybe? Because... show me. Because occasionally he was uh, showing the trading icon. <coughs> But where? How? I have no idea. Okay, what are you wearing? Ah, okay. And what could you give away? dropped it instead of picking it up. I mean changing it. Yep. That I did. And he's still overweight so I'll, mm. I'll have him carry it after all. So yes, this is a scene of a battle between us and some toads last time. And there were other wild animals, and there are more toads this way, and then there are the bad guys. And overall we are in... What's this? Overall we are in the uh, Rail Nomad camp, which we uh, found by accident, I might add. And then we followed around the turtle for for one whole episode, found some epic doodads as a result, and and then we ran into this guy, and this guy. Oh, he's not coming. So where where is he supposed to go then? Ken si non tendit, magnis tamen exidit absis. That who doesn't something 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 great the weights. I think I looked up his his saying somewhat. So is he okay, he's following us here. Because I, I suspect that we need we might need to lead him somewhere. 
Oh, need medic. Whoa. So. Hmm. Let's check our supplies. You don't have. Huh, okay. What about you? Could use more gear. So basically, we don't want to start a fight right now. Sure. We don't want to start a fight in this state. We would actually like to find a medic, like in town, or a trader to get more healy doodads. But actually, you do a little healy on her. Okay, he's he over here now. Is he going to follow us into the town proper? Well, camp proper. Oh, now he is, okay. What did we just see? Oh yeah, and he's following us. Okay, I guess that's a good sign. Let's check mm. the map for good measure. We are here. Generator, meeting hall, meeting hall, train yard, brothel, yay! House, house, house. We don't really know the town because while I did walk through it with the whole crew, we were kind of occupied uh, with watching where the turtle, uh, turtle goes, so there was that. Do we have here? Huh. Oh, it's one of those also. Manual save here. What's my number? Um, save. Okay. That's the alarm. Uh oh. Oh no! Reload! Zap! Yeah, that's a reload. Huh, he did it on a second try. Well, that's cool. So, what's happening here? Okay, I don't even know what this is for, so let's not do anything right now. Uh, I should add that... Well, what's this? I should add that I don't actually know what we're expected to do here in the town. I mean, we just followed the turtle. Whoa! Lock, alarm, and an explosive trap. <laughs> well, fuck! Oh, and it's... What is this place? Oh, this is the meeting hall. Whatever, whatever that means. Hello, who are you? Oh, it's just townspeople, I guess. Townspeople with 
melee weapons. Right now we're just sort of randomly moving about. Huh. Just sort of drinking in the scene and the people and the flavor. Can we walk on this one? Uh, I guess not. Some sort of larger structure. Oh, and this guy is still following us around. Uh, let's check the map again. Which way are we actually pointed? Okay, now I get it. Okay, yeah, we didn't. Uh, we talked to him like halfway when we first came through, but I, I was afraid that the turtle is going to run away, so we didn't talk too long. Hello! That's sure good for the population, ain't it? it now Right. <laughs> How do you wear it? save here because we have now started engaging in the town business Okay. 
I'm guessing this is one of those places we actually need to go. And our rail thieves, those guys that we uh, that we chose not to fight right now, or uh, are those out of this map? I don't know. So where are we positioned now? Okay. Whom do we get to talk to? These people just wander about in their own business. Did we go here? Did we not? Ah yeah, this is the thingy from this side. Ooh, yeah. So how many entrances? Two or, or three? There's this one. There's... Okay, so I think there's like two entrances on either side which are, uh, which are uh, uh, wired up. And I'm guessing we can, if we turn off the generator, I'm guessing that uh, that we're we're cutting power to some of these alarms, maybe. And then there's a main main entrance. Not suspicious at all. Okay, you guy. Why are you not selling us something? Wait, is he... Is he talking about the golden spike? Huh. Naturally, uh, at the moment I'm too lazy to look up the vocabulary, so I, I'm only roughly guessing might be saying but I don't know no, no, no. okay what's this was that the store sign I saw what's this <gasps> is this the is this the old dude who takes squeezins So where does this lead to? Hello! Really shouldn't be digging up any more treasures until we have managed to sell some of our stuff, but you know, you know how it is. <gasps> She has the pack back upgrade, so well, not upgrade, but extra backpack for a moment. So back here, huh. <laughs> Ah, okay, these are doors to people's homes because they live in carts, aren't they? even make that much progress. We're just in another uh, other end of the um curve curve thing. Yeah 
Yeah, before we start entering people's homes, I want to examine this place more closely. At least walk through the fo through the whole town uh, once. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Do we qualify as desert scum? It's a bar. Um, a bar is close enough for a medic. At least we can sell some of our stuff, I'm guessing. This is Cle... Um, has the game frozen? No. <laughs> Clearly the Ranger local bar. Is thirsty work, isn't it? <laughs> right mate, innit? Mm. Empty bottles, yes. A trader is what we need right now. Hello. <laughs> Gee. Also, let me put on my talking gear. And let's talk to. Oh, hello. Let's talk to this guy first. Rangers, I don't know nothing about it. Any idiot. I don't know anything. <laughs> You can ask anyone. I just peddle booze. Of course you do. I'm a traveling snake squeezing salesman. I buy wholesale from Gorkinovich here and sell all around the wastelands. Highpool, Ag Center, even Ranger Citadel. Ah, I think we have just uh, stumbled upon a important plot point. Somebody mentioned this uh, this encounter as a spoiler, and I looked away. So. I know there's something to do with Ace. Who? No. Never heard of him. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Shit. Can I just uh, exit the talk? He's another ranger, right? Ace talked about him a couple of times. Said <laughs> they were on the same trail. Only coming at it from different angles. No idea what he meant by that. Okay, okay, yeah, that's me he's talking about in his log book. Don't know what he means by boring, though. No. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I travel with the guy. It's always nice to have a ranger for company on the road. Keeps the bad guys away, but, but not this time. Something was hunting him, and it attacked him our second night out of Rail Nomad. Killed him. The poor guy. I don't know what it was. <laughs> it was horrible. It looked like a man, but it was made of plastic. And its eyes. Uh, I can see them when I sleep. It was a terrible fight. That thing tore into Ace like a ripsaw. I fired a few shots at it, but it didn't pay any attention. It just kept hacking at Ace with these knives that came out of its body. Then when Ace wasn't moving anymore, it stole his pack and his case and started to crawl off with him. <laughs> Mr. Gutsy. Well, it couldn't walk, could it? Ace shot one of its legs off. Didn't get far, neither. After a while, all the oil bled out of it, and it just lay there. Then the lights went out of its eyes, and it was gone. Wait, we only found the leg. We didn't find the rest of the robot. I found it in that thing's shoulder pack, and I took it. But I was gonna give it back the next <laughs> time I came around to Ranger Citadel. Honest. Here, take it. I don't want it. Whoa. Thank you for not hitting me, Rangers. <laughs> so, uh, I understand that if you come here and you have Angela in your party, uh, then there's trouble. However, we do not have Angela in our party. Oh, okay. Well, 
if we can read it. Hello. Welcome, Rangers, to the finest bar in Topekan Terrapin. <laughs> I'm always happy to squeeze libations for the storied and heroic paladins of the desert. We are proud to pour the finest spasins known to man. And for Rangers, at the finest price known to man. So, what's your accent supposed to be? Hmm? Always welcome in my establishment, provided they don't get no thirst for killing. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I think his uh, his talk is like a mix match of different uh, different movie stereotypes that he has sort of smashed together into one persona. Folks say rail nomad is divided between the Topicans and the Atchison. But it ain't so. <laughs> the Topicans run the trains and started the town. The Atchison's just work here. <laughs> Don't I know it? I could triple my squeeze in sales if I could establish regular trade with my far off customers. Right now, all I got is Sammy Haas. <laughs> and he makes his rounds on foot. It's all that goddamn. I see changes walk. He was a good man once, for an Atchison. <laughs> but even then, he was stubborn. Now that Kekabars kicked him out, he's gone from stubborn to murderous. <laughs> <laughs> murderous is a nice attribute. He was our leader and one tough hombre. Helps keep those local jerks in line. I just wish he'd ease up a little on the Atchison. Not that they ain't evil. <laughs> but this war is hell on clay. All the hobos and junkies and rail thieves that live around here always busting things up. <laughs> the spit it takes to curse them. Train rubbish. Ah, oh, course, now that the trains ain't running, they're just walking. <laughs> but hide out somewhere between us and the Atchison camp. It's them where he should be fighting, not the Atchison, if you want my opinion. Wait, did we already encounter these guys? Or are those the ones uh, who are at the, at the location where we came from? No use for those losers. They don't drink squeezins. They just snort sand. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> they make it out of ground up scorpions. <laughs> Poison, if you ask me. They're my best customers. <laughs> He's around here somewhere. Ah, there he is. Down the end of the bar. Ah, okay, we already talked to him. Right. We are. Until us. So Pekin stop fighting them. Atchison's will never get the train running. And that'll never happen because Kekabar and old Casey James are too stubborn to compromise. They both blame each other for the wreck and they both claim the golden spike is theirs by right. Mm hmm Happened a few years back. Kekabar was driving the train. He blamed the Atkinsons for not maintaining the rails. They blamed us for not maintaining the brakes. That's why they stole the brake shoe too. It's the thing that makes the train stop. <laughs> the Atkinsons took it from us. They said they wouldn't let us run the trains unless we took better care of them. <laughs> you didn't know? Yep. He's only got the left one now. Eh. Good was it, he right? Uh, either way, he's tougher with one than you are with two. The Golden Spike is the honor of our tribe. 
Give it. <laughs> John Henry himself, no matter what the Atchison say, if we was to lose that, we wouldn't be Topekans no more. Interesting. Used to be good customers till Kekobar kicked them out of the camp. Now, they see change and the rest of them are so mad that uh, it's best to shoot them before they get too close. Liable to blow themselves up elsewise. They, they got a camp on the outside of ours. Pathetic. <laughs> Surprised it don't dry up and blow away. And them with it. To be honest, you already seen tough as nails, but <laughs> that's what you want. You came to the right place. Buy all you need. It's always on sale. How many bottles would you like? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what can we sell? Ah, okay, and it's all he sells. Yes, so <coughs> let's get to business. Uh, this one is light, this one is heavy. Okay. <laughs> More first go. We have found plenty of them elsewhere. Tobacco goes. Toad eye. Two pounds? Well, yeah, they are pig toads, aren't they? Let's see, this one goes, these go, keep this, because it's a memorabilia, uh, blah, whatever it singular is. And this is the nostalgic tin can of the occasion when we didn't get uh, kicked to the butt. Snuff boxes, go. Yes. Mm, I'm keeping this one. This seems like a useful thingy. Pelts go. Phone stay. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, so much stuff. Uh, keeping the marbles, keeping library tickets, keeping all the colorful stuff. Uh, is there anything that I would actually be willing to give up here? Um, that chip is kind of heavy. Oh no, it's not. Um, help! Oh, so she has one phone and he has three phones. The dude management is sometimes the the most grueling part of a uh, of an adventure. So I've got two of these. Can you carry this for me, please? Baba. Sure. Oh, she's still overpowered. But now that he has some some available carry weight. I'm going to assign some doodads to him temporarily. And look at that stuff. You can't just give it up like that. Okay, 
she is no longer overpowered. Yo. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, Gorkinovich! One more for the road! <laughs> Let's talk to him again. Rangers, how can I help you? Ah, uh, never mind. Thank you for not hitting me, Rangers. <laughs> Where is it, please? Ranger in his thirsty work, isn't it? <laughs> okay, uh, how do we get out again? Because I don't see a door. Ken Sinon Tenvit. Magnus Tanmen Exidit Apsis. Right. Um. Oh no. Hey, Gorkinovich! One more for the road. I don't know how to exit this establishment. Help! <laughs> oh, that's clever. That's Fallout One. Um. Uh, exit. Pretty please. Uh, oh, maybe we can't uh, go away until we have hey, go one more for the board something. To the finest bar in Topekan territory. I'm always. I'm sorry, Rangers. I have a strict no refund policy. I, I was supposed to receive a new shipment of fresh squeezins over two hours ago. Uh, I don't know what's taking my drive hmm. so long. I hope everything's all right at my distillery. Oh, I uh, I don't even have zero levels in Kisas. To be honest, you already seen how this nail is That's let's buy one bottle. Okay, this is fucking expensive. I'm back again. Okay, so it's not the plot thing. Oh, oh, okay. And she's already over p uh, over encumbered. We are all mo ah, uh -huh, okay. You take them. Now, let's consult the map a little bit before we run wild again. Okay, I think we're facing the way I think we're facing. Let's zoom out. Before I go out uh, helping people directly, I also want to talk to the uh, to the other side of the people. of this map. This is the one who doesn't want to be disturbed. And this is where we get to the other side of town, isn't it? No. Ah, okay, we need to go through here instead. But let's see where this leads.
Yeah, looks like there is a whole area we haven't <laughs> we haven't examined. Oh, these are hostile junkies. Well, what do you know? <laughs> you guy, we're we're being tactical here. Is it actually cover or I oh know it's just just a thing. So go here instead. Behind here. Yeah. Okay, you go closer as well. But not I oh know you can't go too close because because health issues and you yeah let's just keep the two of you in this area yeah <laughs> Ah, you dude, no, bad NPC, bad. Enter. Okay, they fix. Ooh, shit, they fixate on player characters. Okay. Some gunners. Oh, they are all gunners. Well, fuck. Mm. Of course, he's in the way. Okay. Oh, let's let's get physical right away. <coughs> what about you? You can shoot him, so shoot him. <gasps> mm, can you shoot him again? No. Okay, then let's get physical with you as well. Come on now. You didn't. Better. Oh. He is actually good. Is he gaining XP for us or how does that work? Okay, you quickly work your thing and you get rid of this guy. Don't miss. Yes. Come on! 
on. Okay, do you have ammo? Yes. Shoot this guy. Yes. Whoa, that was a bit close. Again. Um, manual save here. Spare parts. I think the Makar damage was way too low to use it on a daily basis. Oh, oh my, gross and fascinating. Some med kits still. Oh, yeah, and she already has one Makara as well. So, let's take some guns apart. It has, oh. These are not attached, are they? Yeah, because he's not getting any new parts. Mm -hmm. So... Strip! Quick and dirty XP. Ah, oh, you're kidding me now, he's weighed down. Oh, he's also carrying this thingy. Okay, give give some dude as back to her. Goody. Homo es Deus. Do they have some sort of medicine cabinet stashed away somewhere? Pretty please? Because we like totally need healing. Dealer's house. Uh, if we go in here, are we gonna have to fight again? Probably. Or 
Where the is hostile again? No. Hello. We have a vantage point on you. Dead pig or whatever that is. Let's see how far we can go on this. Ah, okay, and up here is already railroad proper again. Hmm. Something seems to be buried there. <laughs> yeah, I think these are pigs. So let's risk it and walk right in there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> sure. Or celestial as fuck. Anything in there? Nope. And a quick save here, and let's go check out that dealer in the hopes that maybe maybe he sells drugs, like useful drugs, good drugs. business <laughs> okay. Because secret. Whoa, that was a lot of XP. <laughs> awesome. Oh. This is interesting. However, what we really want to do sell some stuff. Yeah, let's let's sell the toad eyes. Everything else is needed stuff here. Let's sell the toad eyes. Do you have some pelts? Infective, infective, infective. Oh, this is heavy. Let's do this. I'm 
sure you can ground it up uh, into some drugs or something. And you have who has weapon parts? You have. Oh my god, so much stuff. No, I'm not selling parts or any anything like that. And I think now we can afford one of these. Oh, it's for... Uh, Okay, then let's have a collection. <gasps> bye bye. Let's see now. Okay, then. You hold on to the drugs. Okay, the door prompts up here. Huh, well, we have done a lot of things. I suppose this is a good place to call this episode. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you soon. And we're gonna walk out of here. Bye bye.